And hello everyone! I think many of you are already aware that a huge amount of media spread information about the attempted suicide of Alexandra Soldatova. At least I wrote about it on my YouTube post and told it in real life in my Instagram stories. So in order not to miss such things, subscribe to my Instagram and the link is right down below. Well, I could not ignore this topic because it's quite tough and relevant. I'll tell you in the video what I think about it, what's true and what's not from my opinion. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video, so YouTube shows my video to to those who still don't follow and don't know about my channel. Just a few days ago on Instagram I wrote a post in which I actually said about how girls misbehave because of the excessive criticism and careless words and how the coach words are reflected in the life of the sportsmen. How beautiful girls turn into the most complex due to the sports standards and as they say what all this can lead to. And let's understand in order what's true and what's not. At approximately 12 p.m. on February 6, the first media articles appeared that Sasha Soldatova was hospitalized as she tried to commit a suicide by cutting her beans. Then additional information began to appear that Sasha was in the psychomatic department of the Sklifasovsky Institute. It is an aid institution and, if I understand correctly, they only bring people for an urgent help. This fact clearly confirms that Sasha was trying to do something with herself. Also, in some other sources, information appeared that Sasha had bulimia. Psychology a person suffering from bulimia tolerates this very poorly, trying to hide what is happening from others. But the problem is that she inevitably begins to gain weight. In addition to refusing to eat, laxatives are being taken, emetics and other medications. The person punishes herself with a hunger. The weight, of course, goes away. But after some time, the person jumps off. And again, a bulimic attack begins, overeating, and everything happens again in the circle. I must say right away that those who suffer from such things don't talk about it. So I think we'll definitely not know what happened, and no one will confirm this to us. But for me, there may be a confirmation, because this is not the first time that such information about Sasha has came to me. Firstly, that she suffers from an eating disorder. Hence, the haircut is also understandable, since with such diseases, all the functions of the body are violated, including hair falling out. In general, with bulimia, people have psychological problems. If you believe this, then against the background of an attack of RPP, she could cut her hands. But again, this is not a fully reliable information. There was an information in the media that you can trust, I think without a doubt. These are comments by the doctors, who said that Sasha arrived to them with a fever on Wednesday. True. If you believe this information, then the words of Anna Vyacheslavna and Sasha herself begin to become doubtful. By the way, she commented on the situation on her Instagram, though not in her own way, but in Anna Vyacheslavna's phone. Ah, Ехала на тренировку, утром готовила завтрак, порезалась. Такое бывает, у всех бывает, ножи острые, я гимнастка, на кухне стою не так давно. Вот, еду на тренировку и чувствую, ну, рано лучше закрыть и обработать профессионально, ну, дабы не заниматься самолечением. Заехала в больницу, предупредила тренер, что я немного опаздываю, вот, и... На этом вся история закончилась, а тут пишут такой кошмар, вены, порезалась, какой ужас. На самом деле у меня просто нет слов. Со мной все прекрасно, жива, здорова, буду на гран-при, буду выступать в гала-концерте. Все супер, сейчас поеду на тренировку. Before visiting her in the hospital, Sasha's coach told the media that they called up on Wednesday and Sasha said that she was going to take some tests. Everything is right. However, after a couple of hours, the coach was in the hospital and later denied the fact that Sasha has tried to attempt a suicide. Which of this is true? Perhaps nothing at all. Some experts from the media scare us because the information is really similar to the truth. But at the same time, Sasha has already denied all of this. Stupidly done, immediately after that she got scared and went to the hospital. The athlete admitted that she cut herself with a kitchen knife at home, hence the wound on her left hand. She behaved appropriately in the ambulance and was very sorry about what happened. Well, the biggest question is to Sasha and her explanation of the situation. In the video, she said that she simply cut her hand with a knife by accident and there is nothing wrong. 
and she drove to the hospital because she simply needed a professional taping. And also, weren't the coach who incidentally said earlier that she was taking the test. It's probably not worth to say that people suffering from an eating disorder are embarrassed about what's happening to them and are afraid that they will not be understood. And knowing how much a had is pouring on Sasha, it is not surprising that she is afraid to talk about it. And the whole federation, including Irina Alexandrova, just don't need such a problems and scandals around her. Well, the main question that I have left in the cut and cast doubt on the fact that Sasha is telling the truth in the video. Firstly, she's in a psychomatic department. I don't think that people get there with a kitchen vote. Secondly, she does not have her own phone. She publishes all the information into Anna Vicislavna's account, which is normal, because Sasha's phone must have been taken away in such a department. Lack of socials. Well, what kind of cat in the kitchen is it when you are in the hospital and they come to visit you? According to Anna Vicislavna, they will only let her out on Friday. Although, according to Sasha, her herself in the video, she will now quickly have her arm tied and she will go to the training. After watching Sasha's videos, many wrote to me why didn't she show her hands in the frame if she really was fine. It is also an unanswered question, but I think it can be seen at the Grand Prix. As a result, I will assume that Sasha was initially admitted to the hospital either with an attack of RPP or with an attempted suicide, and the fact that the coach and Sasha are now beginning to deny everything is an attempt to protect Sasha's reputation, which of course is understandable from their point of view. Well, Sasha's promise to perform at the Grand Prix stage. If before that was not 100% information, now she simply has to do it in order to confirm her version of what has actually happened. Again, we won't find out the truth since Sasha and the coach decided to hide this information. Well, about the words of Irina Alexandrovna about the inborn DNA that prevents her from a proper trainings, it may also be now not true, but the truth that is better perceived than problems with psychological health. Amina Zaripulan in the comments under the video already offers to sue the media. What am I thinking about this? I understand Sasha's fear and attempts to protect her reputation. Probably this is the right decision. But still, not in the 21st century, when information spreads faster than you can sneeze. On the other hand, who wants to share their personal problems with their health? Who wants to talk and explain why you tried to cut your own hands? I'm sure that even those who watch this video have people who face such problems when they thought that suicide was the only way out. Of course, I'm waiting for your opinion about this whole situation, just let's put it tactfully at least a little. Write what's true in your opinion, suicide or bulimia. Well, do not forget to write words of support for Sasha. Whatever it is, in any case, I think she needs our support now. Don't be afraid to talk about your problems, either with friends, strangers, your parents or doctors. It's better to prevent possible problems than to treat them later on. Well, remember that I love you all. And for now, goodbye.